You are welcome to online lectures with Farm Time to the School Board. Today, we we'll take a look at pharmacology. And the topic is a uh, musculoskeletal system drugs. Musculoskeletal system drugs part one. Musculoskeletal system drugs part one. This is our first contact on this topic. So from the name musculoskeletal, musculo from muscle, skeletal from skeleton. So we are going to examine everything that has to do with muscles and skeletal system. Now you cannot talk of um, going into pharmacology or drugs for this when you don't even know what musculoskeletal system is. So because of that, we'll go into a, do a bit, a bit, a bit of anatomy a bit of anatomy and physiology of musculoskeletal system so as to help us understand how we and where the drug needs to act. So without wasting time, our reference book for today is um, the Pharma's Technician Foundation and Practices by Mike Johnston, Karen Davis and Jeff Grissier. So. Let's go into what is musculoskeletal system. As, as I said, this is a very important system in the body because without the musculoskeletal system, we, I can't even stand here. I can't even move my body. I will just be like a, a rag on the floor. Without a musculoskeletal system, my skin and my viscera, the organs and other structures will just be lying flat like a rag on the floor. It's because of the musculoskeletal system that I can stand and my internal organs are protected. I can move, I can speak to you because muscles are involved too. Yes, nervous coordination is there but muscles are involved. The skeletal system are involved. So musculoskeletal system is S extremely important in human body not just human body in the body of organisms okay so that is the form the framework of the body is for support and for what movements all right so everything that has to do excuse me Everything that has to do with the musculoskeletal system, here we have things like um, we have muscles, nerves, in fact, now is the main thing. Nerves, of course, the brain is involved. Here we have mainly we have muscles, we have bones, we have joints. We have ligaments, we have tendons, we have cartilages, we have cartilages, we have cartilages and what have you. So these work together. Muscles, the bones, the bones, ends of the, each of these bones, we find the what? The cartilages are there. There they come together, meet together, interact at joints. Then the ligament helps to fasten the joints. The tendons help the muscles to get attached to the bones. Then at the, at the joint junction, we are within the synovial cavity, the joint, the, the ends of the bones are covered with cartilage to 
minimize frictions, even though here yeah, the saliva fluid is there, so that the ends of the bones they do not do what you know, you know, collide with each other and cause pain. Cartilage is there during the walk, shock absorber. Then the nerves, the brain, the nervous system, the brain, the nerves from the where? From the spinal cord. The nerves now control that all these activities. So these things work together to give a perfect musculoskeletal system. Without this coordination, these two will just be there like dead vegetables. They cannot move, they cannot do anything. So this is the chairman. The brain is the what? Chairman. Our nervous system is the chairman that controls this. Now, I mean, I've seen the importance of knowing what these are. Another area I also should know is the diseases that affect each of these. We can focus and know where the drugs and why the drugs should act. Okay, so this work together to give us what? Perfect musculoskeletal system that coordinates everything we do in terms of movements and support. Now let's look at the muscles. Remember, I said this is not pure physiology class or anatomy class, just one or two things, so as to prepare our mind towards the topic. Because we are talking about musculoskeletal system drugs. This is not this is pharmacology. So I will just say one or two things about anatomy and the anatomy then with and physiology, then we'll take it off from there. So, the muscles, let's look at the muscles. Let's say one or two things about the muscles. So, of course, the muscles are what? They are tissues. The muscles are tissues. In the body, we have three men, three of them. We have the what? The skeletal muscles. We have the cardiac muscles. We have the smooth muscles. I call this one viscera. Visceral muscles. So this skeletal muscles, cardiac muscles, smooth or visceral muscles. So let's go to the what? Cardiac uh, skeletal muscles. From the name skeletal. Skeletal muscles. They are attached to where? The bones. By the by means of tendon, they are attached to the bones for the movements. And aids in the body what? Movements. Of course, the action of the skeletal muscles are voluntary. Yes, you decide to move before you move, except in in disease states where the body where is where the they are moving without on un, control. But under normal circumstances, movement of skeletal muscles is what voluntary, and the skeletal muscles are striated in shape. They are striated in shape with, and they have external nuclei. They have external what nuclei or multiple can I say per peripheral. That sounds better. Peripheral multiple. Multiple peripheral nuclei, multiple pe peripheral what nuclei are we together? Multiple peripheral what they are striated, multiple peripheral what nuclei. Okay, so that's the major thing I, I, I will take for now on this. So, look at cardiac muscles. Where do we have the cardiac muscles? Cardiac muscles are present where? In the heart. They are present in the world. The heart. They are called what? The myocardium. The myocardium. Of course, the nervous, two nervous coordination, the rhythmic contraction of these cardiac muscles helps us in the what? In the what? The pumping of blood to the really different parts of the what? The body. The pumping of blood to different parts of the what? The body. Without this muscles i don't know the heart will not be able to pump anything so have you not seen how important musculoskeletal system is even in pumping up of course you know how vital blood is to human body to a living to a living organism blood is life so so this coordination this coordination by the, the transmission of electrical impulses through the nerves to the muscle fibers of this cardiac muscle aids in what contraction and the pumping of what the blood so now, the smooth muscles. Smooth muscles are found where, in the what? The organs, internal organs, other organs of the body. Here we have the lungs, even the, the stomach, the intestine, and many of them. 
even the blood vessels, they line the interior of the world. The blood. I'm trying my best to make this to not to go deep into this, but let me just see. Let me see how I can go. So, it's internal world, in the uh, the luminal part of the world, they line the line the, the the inner part of the world, the blood vessels, the GIT. Of course, this contraction is in what peristalsis and what have you. So, I guess how important these, these muscles are. So, we have smooth muscles, cardiac muscles, and what? Skeletal muscles. So, now let's just say one or two things. I want to say one or two things on the on muscles, how muscles act, and uh, basically, basically. The muscles have what two filaments. We have the thick filament and the thin filament. The thick filament is composed of a protein known as myosin. Why the thin filament composed of uh, three of them? We have the troponin, tropomyosin, and the and the actin, actin, troponin, actin. We have actin. Tropomyosin and what? Troponin. Actin, tropomyosin, and troponin. Okay, so let's look at the thick. The thick filaments. Actually, this in the thick filament, this myosin is arranged. About three, we have about 300 of this myosin in a what? In a thick filament. Arranged in this cylindrical form, arranged like this in cylindrical form in a what? In a what? Thick filament, 300 in cylinder. Okay, so what actually happens for contraction to take place? There will be an interaction between the, the, the thick filament and the thin filament, the thick filament and the what? The thin filaments, specifically the myosin and the what? The actin. The myosin and what? The actin. Actually, the myosin grab and they pull the what? The actin. And it will slide over it, pass it, and this will lead to what? The shortening of the what? The sarcomere. So when this happens, the muscle do what? Contracts. Let me not talk too much on that. So that's basically what happens here. So it's actually through this, this, um, this um, this um, interaction that muscles do what contract, so the two of them must act together. So, so this process is called what? This is basically what happens in what coupling contraction, excitation coupling co contraction. Okay. I wouldn't want to, as I say, I wouldn't want to go deep into this. So just, just an abridged form so that we can go straight to what we have. Actually, we can, we, we, not, we, we, not, we not even finish everything today. So let's look at these functions of muscles. How does muscle act? Of course, of course, for this compression to take place, for this interaction to take place, of course, energy is involved. So ATP, ATP is break down ATP. So let's not talk too much on that. So now, functions of what? Muscles. Basically, I, I think I've already outlined these functions of what? Muscles. So there are main functions of muscles. They are as follows. Of course, normal. They provide what? Movements. This movement can still be the one you see and the one within the what? The body. Peristalsis is a form of movement. Muscles are involved. Even the contraction is movements of the heart. Muscles is involved. So the one you, you 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 shake your body movement, even the blinking of the eyes, movement is also involved. So movement is a very important function of the world. The muscle when they contract. Okay. So of course when the muscles attached attached to the the bones through the tendons, and it makes without the muscle the the the, 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 the skeleton the the joint will not be stable, but once it attached, the muscles attached and cross the joint. At this is this is joint. This is joint, and muscles cross attaches somewhere here. 
behind, by the side, or whatever side, it makes the joint to be what? Stable. So it stabilizes the what? The joints. So the muscles also maintain body posture. Yes. Maintain your body what? Posture. Then, of course, 85 percent of the heat produced within the body comes from where? As a result of muscle contraction. Remember, I made mention of the energy involved. Energy involved is a muscle contraction. So, 85 percent of the energy produced, heat, heat energy produced, comes from where? Muscle contraction. So, muscle contraction generates energy, heat energy within the what? The body. So, that is exactly what happens in what? Contraction. So, I like I said, I wouldn't want our lectures to be long. We'll cut it short, short, so you can sit down, watch, relax, and anticipate the, the next part. So, we'll continue from part, part two. In part two, we look at bones. Remember, we're talking about musculoskeletal drugs. So, we just talked about one or two things about what? The muscles. So, we'll talk about the bones in our next class. We'll talk about the bones. Of course, what the discussing muscles, I mentioned tendons. So this I mentioned tendon. So when I, when I go into bone, I'll talk about bone, cartilage, talk about joint a bit, then ligament will not come in. So that will be our next class. We we'll talk about bones and what happens to the bones, then the bone marrow, functions of bones, and what have you. Before after that, we'll not go into the what the disorder. This is normal physiology. And I thought we'll talk about the disorder before we go into the drugs involved. The drugs needed for this. So, without wasting time, I have one or two questions here. I want us to review. This will help us review what we have done so far. So, let's see how far we can go. I'll write a question on the board and we answer. And one question says, let me get a better marker. One question says, let me write it on the board. One question says, let me write it on the board. The question say, says, this type of muscle is attached to the heart and is also known as the myocardium. A. Skeletal muscle. B. Smooth muscle. C. Cardiac muscle. D. Heart muscle. This question is confusing. <laughs> of course, it's not skeletal muscle. It's not smooth muscles. We have cardiac muscle, we have, heart, we have heart muscle. So which one is, is more appropriate to be used? Cardiac muscle, heart muscle. They are talking about the same thing. So which one now is the answer? <laughs> See question. <laughs> cardiac muscle, heart muscle. All right. By virtue of what we have discussed in today's class, both of them are correct too, but I will go with this. Cardiac muscle. This is the name given to it. Even though yes, this cardiac relates to heart, but this is the name given to it. I go with what? Cardiac muscle. Unless it, I have a question, but if I have maybe a situation whereby you can pick more than one option, I can pick something. But in this case now, I'll go with what? Cardiac 
muscle. The type of muscle attached to the heart and is also known as the what the myocardium. <laughs> hey, complete confusing question. Okay, let me see if I can pick another question here. Another one. Another question. Okay, the question says, this type of muscle is also known as visceral muscle and is considered involuntary, involuntary muscle. A. Skeletal muscle. B. Smooth muscle. C. Cardiac muscle. D. Heart muscle. Remember what we discussed about visceral muscle. The line where the organs, right? Organs like what? And structure like what? Stomach, intestine, lungs, and what have you. Now, these muscles, they are involuntary. Yes, I did mention that. They are involuntary. Skeletal muscle is voluntary. Why the cardiac, the, what the cardiac, visceral muscles or smooth muscles? I've already answered the question. They are what? Involuntary. You can't control their movements. You can decide not to move, go out under normal circumstances. You can decide to sit one place. But you cannot decide that your your the presence will will, 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 will will not take place or that your heart will not their cardiac muscles will not contract. You cannot you cannot take the decision. So that's why I will pick smooth muscles. They are smooth muscles or visceral muscles. That is not cardiac, it's not heart, it's not skeletal muscle. We'll stop here for today. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get information because the, the, the full video, full lectures, are, is, we upload the full lectures on our YouTube channel. Here on TikTok, we just have about more, no more than 10 minutes of lectures. That's the preview. But the full lectures is in our YouTube channel. Also follow our Facebook page. The name is Fermentanity the School Boy, both on Facebook and on and on and on, and on uh, YouTube, the link for the YouTube channel is on my on my on my bio. Just click on it, go there, subscribe, and click the, the notification button, so you'll be among the first to get information when we post our full video. Every day, anytime, any day, I'm I'm free. I'm always here to give lectures on TikTok live lectures and we also with time start our world competition on tiktok where you sit back we set question if you know if you know the answer you call us live tell us the answer then at the end the winner
go the winners go go home with what give we call it academic battle we are it was a written exam before but we are changing to what life oral do your thing call us on phone here on life and we know the winner the answer we put it in last speaker so that the whole world will hear we take a decision on the winner and that, and that's how it will go so thank you very much for your attention please always be here follow this TikTok so that we get notification whenever we go live and god bless you as you do so see you next time